Hey everyone, I just wanted to share with you guys an idea that I saw on Instagram. Um, the girl's name is House of Lacquer. She posted um, how to make these um, samples out of wood dowels. So I did it myself and I just wanted to show you how I did it. I got these wood dowels at Home Depot and I just got them cut to about six to seven, six inches, you know, six in inches each piece. So when I got home, I got a file that, um, you know, a file that doesn't really work anymore, like one that I'm about to throw away just to soften up the edges. Then you're going to um, file, like if you were going to prepare a nail, you're going to just file wherever you're going to sculpt the nail on. This is a good idea. I loved it because um, right here I'm going to put the nail form on. I'm going to start with the basic square nail, okay? I put the, um, it's a good idea for clients. When they come, there's no confusion because in their mind, a stiletto might be one thing and in my mind, a stiletto might be another. So this is a good idea so there won't be any confusion. It's helped me a lot because um, sometimes they come and they tell me, I want a stiletto and then I'll do a stiletto and then they're like, it's too pointy, I wanted it rounder. I, I'm like, that's an oval nail. So that way there's no excuse, you know, since the beginning they tell you what shape and exactly they want and you have these on your table or wherever you work and there's no confusion at all and you have a happy client and you'll be a happy nail tech too. We're going to start off with a basic square nail. I'm doing all of these nails with just a white acrylic and on the top I'm using just my uh, regular cover it's a cover mix that I make I also have a video on that it's called blush pink I will put the link um, we just whenever you're gonna start any type of nail it's good to just go to the um, the free edge the free edge just go all the way up to the, the smile line make sure you're you define the smile line very well on both sides make sure it's even and then we just keep the sides very straight and clean so we don't have to file that much. You see how I'm cleaning the sides even when I'm encapsulating. So we um, bring down the file time to less time. Now we're gonna do the oval. And you know what, maybe these um, shapes are what I to my understanding, you know, maybe in your mind it's different, but you see that's why it's a great idea to do these because um, you're gonna you're gonna make your your samples how you see your nail, how you work, so that way there's no confusion at all. So this is how I do my oval nail, and this is the kind I always do on myself actually. Haven't done the pointy pointy stiletto. I always do them oval, and I love them. Now I'm going to do what you call the pipe nail. It's very easy to make and it it's such a... This style of nail makes your hand look so beautiful to me. It's like a very elegant shape of nail. I, I just love it. I haven't done it on myself yet, but I've done it on clients and they've loved it. Okay, so like I said, you just define the smile line. Make sure you go all the way up to all the sides and clean it up. Clean it up and your work just looks really clean and, and, and nice, you know? And just make sure the sides are straight all the way till the end, um, whichever length you prefer, you know, it's the same process. So just go, like you see on the sides, I keep them straight. And then when you're gonna get to the edge, you're gonna go diagonally to the tip. Okay, and make sure it's even on the other side also. Like you see, I'm adding more acrylic, white acrylic here. It's straight, and when I go to the tip, I just go up diagonally. You go up diagonally on both sides, and then on the tip, it's gonna be round from the top. Okay, and that's our pipe nail. It's beautiful. Now I, I just encapsulate, and we go to the next. I'm sorry I didn't um, um, record at the beginning. I thought I was recording, but you'll get an idea. This is what you call a squoval because it's square and oval. The sides go straight 
and the tip is round. It doesn't go up diagonally like the pipe. It just goes straight and then just the tip, you round it off like this. So it's oval and square in one. Now this one is the stiletto. Um, and the stiletto, the nail form, we're going to close it all the way. As you can see right here, I have it closed. The tip is closed all the way. And like I said in every other um, nail, uh, the tip, the every other um, shape and style of nail, I start off by taking the acrylic all the way up to the sides, making sure my smile line is clean. And I clean it up very good. And the stiletto, you're going to just put it on top it doesn't really fold into the form it's just all on top make sure you have the sides very clean all the way to the tip you see how it's just straight it's very simple as long as you close the form very good so just keep it very clean as you can see right here then we encapsulate Now this is a very unique nail form. I actually love it and it, it looks really nice and it's very simple to do also, okay? It's known as um, the lipstick nail. And I really, I really love it. It looks like a tube of lipstick when you're putting it up. <laughs> you know how it's kind of diagonal and slanted on top? So we do the same thing. You know, we just make sure our smile line is clean. Go all the way up to the sides and clean. And then the end is diagonal. Now this is the edge nail. I love it. Lately, a lot of my clients have been wanting to try this style out it looks very for like the i guess there's they want to try them out because it's christmas time new year's and they want to they want to you know try something different you know for these for the holidays so i've been having some clients that have been wanting to try this out and it looks very nice but to do this form um to do this nail the form you have to fold it in half i have a video on how to put the form i will post the link also um you have to do one side first then the other side and just go straight on the edges then go diagonally on the end now i filed i um buffed i cleansed and i put the uv gel then i just put them in the uv lamp um and i wrote the the name of each style on the edge of the tip that's how I saw them on the girl that I told you that I got this idea from Instagram and um, as you can see it has each shape on the nail before your client asks for a nail they'll see it and that way visually you guys there's no confusion you know what there is and there won't be the when you finish for her to say oh I don't want this shape I wanted the other one so this will avoid a lot of confusion and they look really cool too so I hope you like this idea thank you for watching my videos bye